Hey, it's Marcel here from Bushel Plus, and today we're going to go over our new features in a Bushel Plus app that outlines the chaff deck calculator and a chaff line calculator for our users that are specifically working in those kind of areas. Once you updated to the new Bushel Plus 2020 app, you'll click on it. It will guide you to the first page. You may have to scroll down a little bit until you see the create login button. You'll hit the create login button where you have to register your product for warranty purposes and then you're off to the races. So as you can see on our options page, we have our loss calculator to figure out low losses when you're wind rowing the straw in the chaff or when you're spreading the chaff and the straw. We have our smart drop pan control for our new smart drop systems. The history tab to go back in your save history of combine loss and settings and our new addition is our Australian version for the chaff deck calculator and the chaff lining calculator which is a different way of uh, measuring the loss and that gives you another way of figuring out the loss a bit easier with some visuals along the way. So when we check out the chaff deck calculator for the AMA chaff deck you click on that and you'll see uh, our top line here is the Bushel Plus app. Top right corner is the history tab, which brings you back to the history that you previously saved. You have the menu button, which leads you to a menu where you can access the combine tips. You can also now access our new 2020 user manual. It gives you all the information about the system. So it's on the tip of your fingers, always with you in the field. And very important, top left, Nice feature for imperial or metric units, depending where you farm in the world. It'll give you the date and the time. For the chaff deck and the chaff lining users, we also have a quick uh, loss test guide in here that is available with push of a button to the top right. And it's a quick read of just a couple of minutes, two to three pages. It will tell you exactly how to measure your loss. So you can distinguish between your sieve and your rotor loss. You can check your weed seed sample as well and see that you get all the weed seeds over the sieves onto the AMA chaff deck chaff line. And it describes in detail um, how to do that. As you can see here, description in it and shows you a visual how to drop your tray or your drop pan from the header front or from the middle of the harvester, different spots. Two minute read, if that, and it's always with you when you're in the field. The template here, similar to our calculator that you used to in the past, um, you put in a, a, a file name, that is the file name that it will be saved in the history tab. So you, with that name, you'll be able to find it back in the, the background of the app. You can choose the type of crop and the width of the cut. That's the cut of your header front. So use what you be actually cutting with. So if you have a 12 meter header and you got your 11.5, 11.8 meters in your GPS, that is what you would put in here. The drop pan size is defaulted to the chaff deck version here and here. The rotor straw discharge width that will be the discharge width of the straw that's coming out of your chopper and is featured here in the icon as in orange lines. So you can see that this is what's coming out of the chopper, out of your rotors or out of your walkers. And let's just say we are throwing that about nine meters wide. You can just paste that out or measure it if you like. And then you put your yields and tons per acre in here. Let's just say we're doing 3.5 ton. This doesn't influence your yield loss. It's just a percentage uh, loss compared to the yield that you're entering in. And then we have two steps to do here. If we want to do it accurately, the step number one is you take a loss sample beside or in the middle of the machine. Main thing away from the chaff streams, which are coming off the chaff deck conveyors. And this is needed to calculate your rotor loss. So as you can see here, um, the chaff stream are coming off the chaff decks uh, marked as in yellow and the straw 
that's coming off the rotor and the walkers is marked as an orange and that's where we want to measure uh, our first step and that's where we want to take the sample for measuring out our rotor loss for a bit and then we have about let's just for an example we're finding five grams in the loss tray here step number two we're taking a loss sample on one side under the chaff deck stream so now you can see the carrier is attached to the chaff deck and the red drop pan is actually taking a sample from in the chaff line so it's a nice visual as you're going through the calculations and you, you choose the site where you measured on and um, let's just say we found about uh, 12 grams in here and as you can see the app automatically populates populates both sides for you uh, reason for that is that if you measure one side it populates the other side right away or if you did measure both sides you would enter the average of your measurement in there and if you are measuring both sides and you're always finding one side is throwing over more than the other watch one of our previous videos where we talk about concave setups and um, ways how to go about that if you are finding that you're still throwing over more on one side despite everything else you have tried just keep measuring on the side that's always higher and use that as your as your hot spot basically where you keep measuring and you're reducing your losses from that side so now you hit calculate and because we know the the loss from the sieves and the rotor that we found in the stream in the in the chaff stream and we also found just the rotor loss um, beside the chaff lines we can now distinguish between sieve and rotor loss a lot easier so we have a total loss result on the bottom breaking down into the rotor loss and the sieve loss and then we'll also show you a percentage uh, loss compared to the yield that you have entered up in here so you know exactly what the percentage of your loss is and the range you want to be in the calculator has the same features of the dollar loss calculator so now we'll, we're realizing we're losing x amount of kilograms per hectare you enter the area you have to harvest let's say we have a thousand hectares left to do and we're getting x dollars per metric ton we're just using some um, some random numbers now here just to show you just to show you the math behind it and you hit calculate and we'll show you losing potentially up to ninety thousand dollars in in this example obviously you want to use the numbers that are applicable to your farm and and the crop but this is a nice tool to show um, the driver or your customer if you're setting up combines of what savings you could have or what savings you actually just did what you'd be throwing out potentially um, the calculator has the same features than the previous ones for selected location where you can go for uh, certain streets or intersections to cross-reference of where the lost sample was taken place and you can hit save data it will ask you do you want to add additional information before you save it if you hit no you can go back in later and add more additional information or you can say yes and we'll bring you to our history page where it shows you the losses you generated what type of crop and the details that you punched in and now you can go into the variety the speed that you were combining your combine settings and concave clearance top sieve bottom sieve and what people really appreciate is the relatively notes so you can put notes in it, um, any kind of conditions that you were experiencing that day, you can take a picture, you can take that picture right away with your camera, or you can take a picture out of your gallery. Then you can hit save data to save it to your history tab, and then you can always come back in and share it. So you can share it with your drivers, your teammates, or, and what also what we suggest is back this data up to your email, just in case uh, your phone crashes or you lose your phone send it to your personal email um, and then you have a history of your combine settings that worked well and the benchmark so when you combine next week or next year in similar conditions you have a benchmark to go back to and therefore learn more about your machine um, so we hit save data data successfully updated and it got saved so in case you want to do a calculation where you only measure in the stream of the chaff deck and you do not want to take a measurement of your rotor loss that works as well 
just keep in mind, look at it with the numbers with a grain of salt, because as you take in a loss sample in the chaff line of the chaff deck, you will also catching a bit of the rotor loss that's coming out of the back and will be throwing on top of that chaff line. But the calculator works for this scenario as well. All you have to do, same thing what we did before, you put a file name in, you choose your crop, the width of the cut, the chaff deck pan size, just the rotor straw discharge width, you will see when you don't enter anything in here, it will default down to a zero. So if you're not doing anything with this, leave it at a zero. You put your yields per ton in there. You ignore step number one. As we talked about that, that was the measurement of just the rotor loss. You leave it at the zero as well. You only enter the number that you found um, in the chaff deck chaff line, then you hit calculate and the calculator will only show you the calculations for the loss measurement that you found in the chaff deck chaff line. Again, it will show up as a sieve loss, but look at it with a grain of salt because you find some sieve loss and rotor loss in here as well. But this is just in case that you do want to skip that step number one. So it's still able to do it in the calculator as long as you put your numbers into perspective and are aware of um, where these numbers are coming from and what loss you're actually measuring here. But it's possible and this is how it works. And these details are also in the loss test guide up in here. Describes exactly how to do every step and also how to do only the steps to measurement.